guy supposedly has every damn bike that you could possibly imagine. So, so wing. 1982 GL 1100 Aspen Cade, 103,000 miles, 2200, Oboe, <clears throat> or best offer, Oboe, 1980 GL 1000, 2000 dollars, with that engine sticks out, it's like, uh, Looks like a beamer. What did I say the mileage was? Eh, he didn't quote it. 59,000, probably 159,000. All right, doing good. That's an 80, what year is that? Yeah, it's an 82. You got All a right. thousand miles on it. Everything work on it? Yeah, every, like the radio's up here, it changes channels, but you don't hear this hear come out of the speakers. I think the speakers need to replace a little of water over there. I'm not worried about that. I'm talking about the uh, air pressure yep, yep, up and down and all that. No, that you don't hear the speakers. That's it's got a little bit of rusty exhaust, that's pretty normal. Set price. I mean, make a good offer. Yeah, it's on the line too. Somebody told me this brown one's got an oil leak. Know anything about that? Yeah, it probably does. I mean, it's hard to say from 1980. I mean, I don't see oil no, I, this morning, but more than likely, yeah. Go easy, bro. Oh, I know. I don't see any oil leak under it, and I'm not accusing you of trying to hide anything. I yeah. just it's I don't know. It is what it is. It came from my. One of my dad's friends, he's rid he's second owner of it. His brother was the original owner. He bought it from his brother. Between those two, they put the hundred thousand miles on it. At around fifty-five it had new timing chair, timing belts, carbs gone through, and all that stuff. But and this one's firm on two thousand. Uh, he just put a substantial amount of money into it and then bought a different one. Now he wants to get his money back out of it. So yeah. What do you got in that front tool or in that brown piece on the front of your bike? Uh, that's where my, uh, ah oh shit, tire irons. Oh, okay. And you got that thing loaded down. You go quite a ways with it or? Yeah, I did uh, 4,500 miles in July. Really? Yeah. Where'd you go? Uh, up to Chicago and then I came back here and then I went down to Arkansas and then I came back up. Nice. Nice. So. Does that thing use oil at all when you go to the open road a lot? Um, I put a I put a 16T uh, okay. front sprocket on it, so I keep my RPMs down, yep. and I don't no I don't burn oil in it. That's good. Like the other KLRs do. Yeah, yeah, a lot of guys like <coughs> run yeah get back right there. Get back. How you doing? I've been meaning to stop by here for a long time, dude. Yeah, we pretty much just repair stuff. Sell a little bit, can get some, you know, parts in for you, but mostly repair. A little bit of everything except for Harleys. We tried to avoid those. Yeah, me too. Where's your, uh, you got any KLRs? No, we don't. The gentleman over here that owns Grease Monkey, he has a KLR that might be for sale. I mean, he rides it every day. Yeah, I think I, I think I keep seeing that one. That's why I, I'm a, like attaching it to this. Yeah, and I was well, like, he parks it over here. He rides it every day, or it sits over there, or out front. I ride my every day too. Yeah, you got snow. It, it doesn't matter. You got to enjoy the yep. No, I ride year round, dude. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. What do you got in here? Uh, these are pretty much all customers on our own bikes. You know, the KZ, the customers, the uh, GSXR's customer. This is our buddy's bike. This is my brother's bike. Set for Woods, and that was set for Motocross. Will you be quiet? 
No, he's all right, dude. I understand that. Nah. I got Italian greyhounds, the little ones. Oh, really? Yeah. You're here in Bluffs, or? Yeah, I live over on 21st and 5th. Cool. Oh, okay. I drive by your house all the time. I see that bike sitting outside. Yeah. 21st and 5th? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Okay, Burb, here you go. Here's a Triumph. What size engine is this? 500. Here's a 500R. 500 R. Jeez, old man, them dual shocks beat the shit out of you, though. Wet clutch, light ball, manual shift things. So that's a wet clutch, we're fine. I like the looks of this one, though. This is cool. Is it 250 cc's? Uh, 250 to 300. That's easy. And here's the Yamaha 500. And I'll say that's probably around a... Uh, 73, 74. Uh, dual shock? No. Where's the back? This is cool, dude. I'm having a good time just checking out bikes. What do you got here, dog? That's a uh, 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 it's a Yamaha 1000. It's SX750 is what it is. Second, second two. Got rusty carburetors. This is this is too cool, really. Yeah, flat tracker. Yeah, but then somebody had some fun on it back in the day. They don't really race it much around anymore. You got to travel a good distance. Nah, I bet they still have fun on it. Yeah. No brakes on. Well, I would say no brakes. Yeah, they don't work very good. Yeah. Well, brakes down on the inside, so you really can't get your foot on them sliding out the corner either. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, see the shift will be no brakes unless you're standing sitting on it straight up. See the shifters on the right? Yeah. I was just looking at that. That's pretty cool. So you get some more gas put in there. Mm hmm. We'll yeah. What size is that tank? Gallon and a half? Yeah, somewhere around there. I'll bet pretty close to two gallons. Pretty good size. <laughs> pretty good size? Yeah. Mine's a six mine's a six gallon. Mm, okay. Alright guys, thanks for the time. Let me see what I can do on these uh gold wings. My brother didn't want to come down and talk to you because he's like Man, if I go in there, I'll buy one. Go yeah, check them out. Yeah, that ah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. That one that asked me gave all that crap stuff. We can do a junk yard for a lot of research. Some of the motor back. He said, screw the Aspen, kid. But he's got it on, what do you call it? He's selling it for somebody else. Okay, Mark, here you go. $2,000, 1980. 59,000 miles, 208. 
Gold Wing uh, 1100 GL. It's got some bullshit on it. But uh, they said you can wheel and deal with a guy. I don't think it looks that bad. said he put a timing chain and some other bullshit in it but you know but just remember it's 30 years old so what do you expect you had a uh, 82 I think you told me but it's got your better on it. So I don't know. It's not a it's not a bad looking bike. It's old. This one I don't think I can I think I'm uh, really too interested in. He said he's firm on uh, 2200 and it's got a hundred and thousand miles. Speedometer shows 3706, so he's undergrading it, so it's got. 1,400 miles is the way I'd go. It's got actually 100,000, 103,706. And the radio's screwed up, so he says. So. Eh. I think you're gonna be paying a lot for the Aspen K bullshit on it. The antenna's screwed, you're gonna have to replace that. I really like, honestly, I really like this one. He ain't in it, so. Yep. Way too heavy for me to deal with. It's not in my playbook. I don't know, you gotta get all these bullshit taillights off it. So. Look at this, 500 Enduro. This is the start of the uh, Monoshock, where they tilted them. See that? The evolution of motorcycles. Okay, I'm off here. We'll talk to you in a while, bye.